So it's time to do an oil change on my 95 E320 station wagon. And I've got the car up on my DIY ramps. And I'm going to lift the hood all the way up uh, beyond where it is now so I can get at the oil filter a little easier. Now we've got the hood all the way up. Only is it out of our way, but we can see a little better. Let's get more light in here. So this bottom tray that's covering the oil pan is held in by six bolts. There are four eight millimeter bolts. I'm taking one of those off in the very rear. See right here. We got one more on the other side. We got one more. It's right up here. And then there's two 10 millimeter bolts in the very front. So we'll get one of those. We'll show you one of those in a minute. You can see I took the four bolts off in the back and now I've just got the two in the front to remove. So with our plastic pan out of the way, you can see the oil pan is here, the drain plug is here. It's a 13 millimeter socket. I'm just gonna try and crack it loose. I'm holding the camera, so if that's a little bumpy. All right, just got it broke loose. I'm gonna try and throw this out of there without Making too much mess. It's quite a long plug. Alright, there we go. Mission accomplished. Just gonna open this oil cap on the top of the engine. That will help oil to drain a little bit better. On this car, the top of the oil filter housing has a nut. Uh, that requires a special tool to remove and it takes this particular socket. I'm going to stick it down there over the over the top of it and then we'll see if we can pull this out of here. We can loosen it without shaking the camera too much. It's just a cap that comes off and then allows you access to the filter really kind of need this tool and I'll put a link to it in the description uh, it's made by motive X tools uh, I can't remember what I paid for it I've had it for a little while but um, pretty valuable if you, if you have one of these cars you're gonna need one of these I got it loose so I should be able to unthread it by hand the rest of the way As we pull this out, it's gonna should attach the filter should be attached, so we should be pulling everything out with it. And there we are. Dripped a little oil. Alright, so here's the old filter and the cap for the housing. We're gonna replace this o-ring that's right here at the top that comes with our new filter. The new filter is from Bosch. I've used filters from both Bosch and from Man. Uh, I just happened to buy, I think, the Bosch filter because it was cheaper the last time. So now that I got that cap out, you can, you can see it's actually plastic. Uh, I've taken the O ring off. Got the new O ring right there. Got the new filter right here. So there's our old O ring. So we've got our new filter and O ring on. We want the bottom of the filter to be open so that we can slide it down in. Got some hoses that are just a bit in the way. So we 
dropped in. Just gonna thread that by hand to get it started. Really gonna tighten it all the way down until I can get it as tight as I can by hand. And then I'm just gonna use that, that big socket. Got two extensions on my 3 8 inch ratchet to reach down here. Tighten this guy a couple, uh, maybe a little more than I said. I think it's pretty loose actually. Tighten it by hand, didn't get it very far. There, it seems to be pretty snug now. I don't want to over tighten it because it's a plastic nut. So we still got a pretty steady drip. It's been about 10 minutes. I'm gonna let it go probably at least 10 15 more minutes if you've watched any of my other videos where I change oil my other cars I always let it drain for a long time this is something you won't get when you take your car to a dealer or to a speedy lube they're gonna change your oil as fast as they can and they're not gonna let all the dirt drain out tighten this guy back up I just Thread it by hand, and I'm just gonna snug it up. All right, that's got to be good enough, and we're ready to put some new oil in. So we're using Castrol GTX, the high mileage version. It's a 10W40 synthetic blend. So I'm using my big red funnel that I got at Walmart. Provides a big target for these giant five quart bottles. And then once I dump most of this in there, this can sit in the in a funnel and drain for a while. Gonna take take two, three more quarts before we see anything, and then probably gonna drop down off the ramps and uh, let everything drain down, start it up, and then we'll we'll check it a few times. So we started her up. We're gonna let her run for a second, and then we'll check the oil level again. We let it run for a minute. Now we're gonna check the oil again. See how our level is. See if we need to add any more. Uh, we're gonna add just a little bit. It's showing just a little bit low, so we'll probably add like half a quart, and then we should be good. We're all in. We're just a a little bit over seven and a half quarts. We could probably just put a tiny bit more in. Uh, now is the time to to close up. Uh, get ready to recycle your oil. And that's a wrap. Please subscribe. Leave any comments. I'll try and help you with your project. Hope this was helpful for you today. Cheers.